Good afternoon, everybody. Happy TGIF Day, May 6, 2022. I'm here with Princess Harley. You know, just decided to jump on the, the bed. She feels like the queen bee lately. So, I'm in Love Language Minutes. And today's title is Sharing Emotions. I think I've been doing a lot of that lately, so I apologize if it's more than you can handle. Just change the channel. <laughs> But I'm telling you, it's very healing for me to just let it out. Because I'm seeing this more as, I mean, yeah, there's some sadness, but it's its more of a healing for, for all of us, even including Hannah, to be able to take this journey with her. Understand this, my dear brothers and sisters. You must all be quick to listen, slow to speak, and slow to get angry. James 1, verse 19. As we have discussed, communication has five levels. The fourth level is emotional talk, which says, let me tell you how I feel. Now we are getting too high level communication. Some will find it far more difficult to share their feelings than to share their ideas because feelings are much more personal. Many couples do little communication on this level because they fear that their feelings will be rejected. Take this example, Peter says, beginning to feel that you don't like me. His wife, Rachel, may become defensive. Her response may be either to start crying and withdraw or else to express her anger verbally and tell Peter how foolish he is to feel this wa that way. I would want to know why. I wouldn't say foolish. I'd be like, why would you feel that way? I would be devastated, truly. It's never appropriate or helpful to tell someone how, or, how he or she should feel. Well, you'd be surprised. An alternative healthy response would be, I'm sorry to hear that. I had no idea you were feeling that way. Tell me about it. If she encourages Peter in emotional talk, they can deal with the problem. If not, their talk reverts to a lower level and growth stops. Emotional talk is a normal part of a healthy marriage, or any relationship for that matter. If it feels threatening to you, try to modify your initial response. As James reminds us, we should be quick to listen and slow to speak. If you feel yourself becoming defensive in reaction to your spouse's emotions, ask a question. Listen, calmly consider what has been said. Remember that having the openness to discuss emotions is one way your relationship, for your relationship to grow. Heavenly Father, forgive me for those times when I shut my spouse down with my own defensiveness. Please help me to listen and encourage discussion of our emotions. May that be fruitful in our relationship. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. So stay tuned. I've got more coming up. Love to all bunches and bunches. Bye.